I'll be graduating this year. At college, I'm gonna try to find some kind of robotics program. I'm 17 and he's 15. We're brothers. Yep. Next is a robotics competition in which small robots will go around playing a different game. This is the robot that we built for the game. We both have Autodesk Inventor to figure out where we want to go in terms of our design. At Worlds, we managed to win the whole thing. When we won, we were just so excited. We're in the Megabots lab. It's really cool. Hey guys. Hi, I'm Brian. Hey, hey Matt. Hi, the robotics industry is exploding right now, and Megabots is specifically making a bet that robotics use for entertainment is going to be uh, especially big. And that's that's really what Megabots is all about. It's it's bringing science fiction to life. We're going to inspire the world to have the first robot fighting league. Well, the first giant robot fighting league. It's something no one's ever done before. We don't have flame retardant suits yet, but you know, it wouldn't be cool if it wasn't a little bit dangerous. When I'm creating my tool belt, I'm looking for things that are easy to get started with, they're intuitive, they're low cost. Find a project that you're excited in. Build your tool set around it and figure out how to make it happen. You can use that software to model your idea, make it into something real. Those of us who uh, live in the office, tend to spend a lot of our time designing the, the CAD model. Fusion 360 is definitely the way the CAD programs are trending to now. It utilizes cloud computing. It is the most approachable, intuitive CAD software I've ever seen. Free to students, to educators. It's just such a great tool. The robotics industry is growing at a tremendous rate and it needs people. Get your hands dirty building robots as soon as possible. These are tools that people use in real industries. It's really incredible and getting to learn such an important skill set early on. Having such a powerful software available to students is uh, pretty amazing. 